what should the TDS level of your swimming pool water be? Well, this is a little bit complicated when you start talking about total dissolved solids because there are different considerations. So with a traditional swimming pool or a swimming pool that uses traditional chlorine treatments, what I would say is below 1500 parts per million for total dissolved solids is where you would like to be. When you get above that range in the 1500 to 2500 parts per million of total dissolved solids, I find that the water starts to become unmanageable and you will notice that you use more chlorine than you used to use. You will also notice that your chemical treatments are somewhat less effective than they used to be. And that's about the point when I'm definitely considering partially draining and refilling with fresh water to lower my total dissolved solid levels below 1500 parts per million again. Some supplies are, you know, only a few hundred parts per million, but usually you're about 500 parts per million or more right out of the supply tap to start with. So by the time you start doing your chemical corrections, then the, the numbers add up pretty quickly. Where things get confusing is if you have a salt water swimming pool, or if you live in an area where it has water, there's water restrictions. So you can't just drain and refill your pool anytime you want. And as a result, you can end up with swimming pools that have some very high numbers for total dissolved solids. Like if you have 3,500 parts per million of salt in your pool for your salt system to work, well, then you already have 3,500 parts per million of dissolved solids in the water before you even start counting any of the other things that are normally found in swimming pool water. So that whole idea of 1,500 to 2,500 is kind of out the window because your starting point is so much higher than that. So if you have a salt water pool, what you might want to do is go with the idea that when your total dissolved solid level increases about 1,000 to 1,500 parts per million more than the point that you started with with your water, that's the point that you want to drain or partially drain and refill with fresh water. And then in your situation, you would have to rebalance the salt level because, of course, you just pumped out a lot of the salt that you would normally use because it does take hundreds of pounds of salt to bring the average swimming pool up to 3,000 or so parts per million. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.